I kept on feeling so extremely tired. My feet would burn at night. Dejé de ver, me sentía muy débil. Eh, me sentía... Orinaba muy seguido, toda la noche me la pasaba orinando. Yo ahí fue donde empecé a darme cuenta de, de, de la realidad de la, de la afectación de la diabetes. My vision is a little bit impaired. I was sweaty, I was feeling uh, weak. My wife told me that I have to see a doctor. He actually got a shock. I was so young and he, and he was actually asked me, how did you develop diabetes? If I could go back, I would really handle things totally different. I'm Hilario Ibanez. I'm 70 years old. I can remember very vividly when Dr. Jeremy Robles diagnosed me with high blood sugar. Every three or four months, I have to go to the doctor for a laboratory test. If I do not know, I do not follow the medication, the insulin, chances are I may die soon. Hi, Larry. How are you? Hi, doctor. I'm good. Thank you. Nice to see you. We're really uh, controlling your blood sugar. We don't want it to go up very high. I could have a heart problem. That's why I always make sure that yeah. my sugar level is at par. As healthcare providers, we need to be there with them hand in hand to help them understand their disease and help them go on with their life. Usually in the beginning, it is like uh, passing out sugar in your urine. Eventually, this leads to more severe kidney disease, and this will eventually end up with dialysis. You just really have to be more strict and more uh, open-minded that your disease is something that you can control. You can prevent the complications of diabetes. My wife will say, yeah. hey, 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 you are not allowed to eat that. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, control it. <laughs> it's the right kind of people you associate with for healthy minds. This is the most important one. The love and care that one should have in the family. In the Philippines, we are a very close-knit society. The support from family members is very important. Viva! <laughs> Yo no fui. Mi nombre es Alejandro Pasarín, tengo 51 años, tengo tres hijos y vivo aquí con mi esposa y, y 12 perros. Este, tengo broncas con el riñón y el rendimiento físico es este, básico porque eh, ya no hago lo mismo sin cansarme tanto. Siete visitas con clientes, un solo pedido. Un plato con chayote, un par de huevos cocidos, con limón y sal. Y faltan 25 minutos para las 7 de la tarde. La bendición de la noche, la glucosa. 207. This won't happen overnight. It will take time for us to get to the levels we need to get to. Y pues también, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos las tentaciones, los dulces, las frituras. When they have challenges controlling their blood sugars, despite the fact that they're doing the best that they can, patients can become frustrated and can become depressed. Chronic kidney disease is one of the major causes of mortality in diabetes. La vida del diabético acaba como muy sedentaria y muy solitaria, teniendo etapas tan depresivas que que como con tendencias suicidas, piensas en, en todo, todo lo feo. Hoy fue un día complicado para mí. Fíjate nomás, 364 de glucosa. Me ha costado mucho trabajo este día. 
porque después de estar revisando unas fotos viejas, viejísimas desde cuando yo nací, me hace pensar hacia dónde vas, hasta dónde vas a llegar. Time now, I think it's 5.30. <coughs> I'm a little bit late. But this is a normal day for me. My name is Craig Grunewald. I'm 48 years old. I have three boys and my lovely wife. Sunday afternoon on the beach. They can see what their father's going through. They can see it's always an insulin, it's always the um, a medication. So Craig's, you know, when he first came to see me a few years ago, his, his uh, diabetes was poorly controlled and his HPO1C was up close to 10. And, um, and he was demotivated. I can't eat anything like anybody else. My feet, it's forever burning. There's really a, a lot of major changes that you have to adapt to. And you know what? It just gets worse. It, it doesn't go away. I always feel in a way, and particularly possibly in diabetes, that you should actually treat your patient as if they're your family member. What would I do if this was my brother or my sister or my mother or father? What would I think would be best for them? My average sugar was, uh, levels was 12 plus for three months. The last one was uh, 6.2. That's my glucose reading for this morning um, and we will chat later today. I was really, I was blessed to get a doctor like Dr. Trokus with his research and his dedication. Really, you can't do it alone. You need a proper professional to, to guide you and walk the road with him. That is the most important thing. Yo me di cuenta de las complicaciones del corazón porque mi abuela falleció de un infarto. Me gustaría que hubiera más participación de, del médico eh, hacia el paciente, pero ya cuando es en la consulta personal, esto prolongaría mi, mi vida, me quitaría la depresión, me quitaría la gana, las ganas de morirme. The world of diabetes has changed. It's no longer just controlling blood sugars, we now have medications that impact complications, and in particular, the cardiorenal complications related to diabetes. We need to give a more multidisciplinary, integral care for our patients, a cardiorenal metabolic approach. The biggest misconception is that diabetes is something that you can easily cure and then it goes away after a couple of weeks of treatment. As your blood sugar goes up, other parts of your body gets affected. Patients that develop chronic kidney disease are at increased risk of developing both heart failure as well as ischemic heart disease and having macrovascular events such as heart attacks. I think if the patients really understand their condition, they will be better equipped to try to minimize their risk of complications. We do not know when this time comes, your heart failure or kidney failure, what is important is how you do good care of this situation. Your attitude must change. Every patient with diabetes has a choice. That choice is what can make the difference between having a life of complications or he can live a very healthy life. We're at a point now where we're looking at medications that actually make a difference to outcomes. Heart failure, diabetic kidney disease are very costly diseases. The younger generation understand that things have to change.